Hey, 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 closet dwellers and bold move makers. It is time for another uncloseted riff and rant. I'm Rick Clemens, the host of Life Uncloseted. And I'm just really excited to be here today because something woke me up this week. And actually, I caught myself actually going, hmm, do I really want to talk about this? Because I don't want to be a hypocrite. But I saw something on Facebook, and it was a story about yet another politician, Wes Goodman to be exact, who had been bashing the LGBTQ community, talking trash about us, all this sort of stuff. And then, as you can probably guess, lo and behold, he ended up coming out of the closet, getting caught in a sex scandal, yada, yada, yada. Now, this is an old story that actually happened late in 2017. So not that old, but a few months ago. And it just happened to show up on a Facebook feed like some of the stuff does. And it got me thinking about the closets of hypocrisy. And this is why I'm going to gently walk into this because I know I can be a hypocrite. And I'm really, really working on that. But as you look at these things that happen, and Wes is just one example, and I don't want to pick on all these Republicans, but as I was doing a little bit of research to do this podcast today, I'm like, wow, there's been Wes Goodman. Then there's been a guy by the name of Ralph Shorty who was in the same sort of scenario. Probably one of the best ones also is Mike Guinea. He was a guy who, he was a mayor of Kenner, Louisiana, and he got caught with his, well, with his pants down. The list goes on and on and on. In fact, Steve Wiles, he's one of the most interesting ones. Big, big, big LGBTQ basher, just constantly doing stuff. We didn't want to have same-sex marriage in North Carolina. And then the next thing we find out that he is performing as a drag queen in a club as Miss Mona Sinclair. So why do I bring this all up? It's not just about Republicans. It's not just about people getting caught in gay scandals. It's about each of us stepping back, really, truly stepping back. And I'm right there with you. So again, I am not putting myself up on any fucking pedestal here. But it's about stepping back and asking ourselves, what's my hypocrisy closet? What's hiding in there that I tend to bash other people about? And yet on the flip side, I'm doing the same thing. So for me, one of my hypocrisy closets is talking about the way other people are running their business and why they're not being successful. But as soon as I flip that around and look at my own closet of hypocrisy about my business, boy, I can sure just shut the fuck up real quick. And oftentimes that's just the case. Look at what's happening in our world these days. Those in the political arena the Me Too movements, um, what's happening in different areas of the world where people are saying you can't do this or be this, and then they're turning around and claiming to be you know, the best Christians or whatever. Hypocrisy is running rampant. And it's time for each and every one of us to make a bold move, to move forward and say, wait, 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 wait. I'm, gonna, I'm going to work on myself to not be a hypocrite. Now, here's why I'm saying work on ourselves, because I have a theory. Maybe it's just my theory, but if we work on the hypocrisy within ourselves and we're all doing this together, what might start to happen on the planet? We might begin to be a little less hypocritical of others. We might be a little more empathetic and we might be maybe just a little more understanding. So here's what I want you to do call me out. If you hear me say something on the podcast in future podcasts, call me out if I'm being hypocritical. If you get to know me or if you interact with me, please help me see my own hypocrisy. I'm willing to take it. I say that with a little bit of trepidation, but I'm also willing to listen because I think when we open the doorways to listening and we start hearing each other and we start sharing what we see in each other, There's so much more good we can do. We can start to live boldly and live our life on closets when we get rid of the closet of hypocrisy. So don't know what you think. Go noodle on that. Think about it over the next few days. And just a few days, we will be back with another super duper. Well, I think they're all super duper. So let me change that. 
we'll be back with an interview that I hope you find is really super duper and that you enjoy. And I want to say thanks for listening to Life on Closet. And you know what? If you have something you'd like to share, if you have a Life on Closet moment or a bold move you're wanting to make or something that you've done, share it. I would love to talk about it in these riffs and rants, even if that that thing you're sharing is about, hey, Rick, I listened to the Hypocrisy Closet podcast and I thought I'd share what I learned about myself being a hypocrite. I'd love to share your stories. So reach out to me, rick at rickclemons.com, C-L-E-M-O-N-S.com, and I will share your story here on Life Uncloseted Riffs and Rants. So that's it. Take care. Have fun. Go do what you do. Have a great day, a great weekend, a great week, wherever you are in the world when you're listening to this, and never stop stepping out, stepping up, and stepping in to living your powerful, bold truth and living your life on closet.